Kia ora and welcome to this short video on how to use this application to learn how to use, write ionic the formula for ionic compounds. So the important thing is this little scale down here which shows whether the positive charges from the cations equals the negative charges from the anion. So as an example, if I take for instance calcium and I react it with chloride, calcium chloride is the compound I'm looking for. The symbol for calcium is Ca, the symbol for chloride is Cl. Now calcium has a positive charge of 2 plus, so you can see it down here, chloride has a negative charge of minus 1. I have got fewer negative ions and I can only add substances, I, uh, I can't take away the positive charges, so I can add a negative charge by adding another chlorine, or chloride, I should say. So you can see now my, my two positives equal my two negatives. So the formula for calcium chloride is CaCl2. Note that 2 is a little subscript number. Do not make it a big number. Right, we'll put that into the rubbish bin. Let's try and we'll do ammonium, uh, sorry, aluminium, and we can make aluminium oxide, for example. So the compound we want to make is aluminium oxide. Al is the symbol for aluminium, O for oxygen. Aluminium has a charge of plus 3, oxygen a charge of minus 2. You can see we've got fewer negative charges, so we solve that by adding an oxide. Now we've got fewer positive charges, so we solve that by adding another aluminium. We've got too few negative charges again now, so we add another oxygen. Can you see we now have equal number of positive and negative charges, plus 6 each. So this is now a neutral a compound with the correct formula, Al2O3. That is the formula for aluminium oxide. Let's try another one. Let's try zinc, and we can make zinc nitrate. So the formula for zinc is Zn. The formula for nitrate is NO3. We've got three oxygens to one nitrogen, and overall this whole group has a charge of negative one. Now we've got too few nitrates because there are too uh, few negative charges. So to solve that, we add a nitrate by clicking on nitrate. We now have two negative charges and two positive charges, so it is now the correct formula of Zn bracket NO3 bracket 2. We add the brackets because if we have left them out, it would be Zn NO3 2, so it would look like 32 oxygens, whereas we know we've got two nitrogens and six oxygens in our compound. So please use this um, interactive to work out the formula of anything you would like. You can try, for instance, ammonium with iodide, see what formula you can come up with, or you could try copper, sulfate, uh, yep, sulfate's down there, see if that, what a compound would come up, silver sulfate, or let, let's get um, rid of that, you could try magnesium hydroxide, play around and see if you can work out the formulae. Thank you. Bye.